Okay, so at the very beginning of this week, I showed you this anchor chart and I talked to you about how poetry is about compression, right? We take a big, massive idea and we squeeze it into as few lines as possible. And then as a reader, our job is to unpack it. And we do that by asking these four questions. What we're talking about today is author's purpose. That is getting at this last question right here. Why did the poet write this piece? Okay. Now, a lot of times um, you will see when, we, when people talk about author's purpose, you'll see something like this. It's to persuade, to inform, or entertain. That's a very basic way of thinking about author's purpose. It's not to say that we're not going to use that at other times this year um, when we're trying to figure out you know, how to ace the star test or something kind of more basic like that. We can absolutely use the pie chart, right? Persuade, inform, entertain pie. But I want us to think a little bit more deeply, okay? I think we're smarter than just using that simple chart. Um, and I want us to think about why authors write the pieces they do in very specific ways, okay? Because it's more than just to entertain, right? You could say that a lot of poetry is to entertain. A lot of poetry can persuade us to think a certain way. But persuade us to think what? Entertain us in what way, right? So go deeper than just persuade, inform, entertain. That's basic, okay? And you're not basic. So as we're listening to poems today and reading poems today, I want you to really dig into why did they write this poem? In order to understand that, you have to know what is the poet feeling? What are the ideas that they are conveying or expressing to you? What is the poem really about? And then you need to think about what we talked about yesterday with point of view and perspective, okay? Where is the poet coming from in their life? What part of the world do they come from? How do they see the world? How do they understand the situation they're describing? How are they different from you? All of those questions should be in your brain as you're reading, and they should all add up to this big explosion. Why did they write this poem? Every time we read a poem, the question that should be in your mind at some point, usually toward the end of your thinking, is why this poem from this poet at this particular time in their life or this time in the world, okay? Every poet uses the words they do to convey a specific message, and they do it in such a way using a type of language or, you know, figurative or otherwise, that it's really important to break down, but the big thing you have to take away is not just that like, those are pretty words or that's a metaphor, but why did they write it? What do they really want you to get out of it, right? What are they trying to tell you, okay? So that's our job today is really digging deep all the way to the bottom of that and thinking, why did they write this? Why did Langston Hughes in 1958 choose these words that are coming to me across time? What does he want me to feel and know? Okay. That's the type of thing I need you to be thinking about. Okay. So today you're going to um, listen to um, a poem and you're going to read a very interesting poem. And um, I want you to be thinking about these really big, heavy questions. Okay. Because we're in middle school now. We got to start thinking big. Okay. All right. Good luck.